Let's go to the second one, select the cane, go to physics, collision, go to friction, change it to 0.001, the thickness outer to 0.046, the inner to 0.001 and the friction to 1.5. And leave it like that. Now select the curtains too. Go to modifier, add modifier, subdivision surface. Change it to two and change it to simple. Right click on it, shade smooth. Go back to modifier, add a cloth modifier. Move this cloth all the way up and then go to physics tab. We need to go to shear and put zero then bending to 1.5 let's now go down to shape pin group pin go to collision change the quality steps to 6 and turn on self collisions change the object collisions to 0.001 the distance collision to 0.001 in self collision if we hit play it will be ms to fix this, we just need to go back to the modifier and move the subdivision surface up. Let's play again and see what we have. There you go. It's working correctly. Now let's go to the last one. Select that one. Go to modifier. Add cloth. Now let's go to the physics tab. Change the preset to silk. Go down to shape, pin group, pin. Turn on self collision and also change the distance to 0 0.001. And let's see what we have. Right click on it, shade smooth. Let's go to the modifier, subdivision surface and change it to simple. Click again. We just need to put the subdivision surface up. And click again. Okay, that's better. Now, before we continue, I'm going to change these areas. The first one will be by joining this one with the outliner by pressing right click right here, join areas. Now, let's go to view area and change it to a vertical split. And now add an outliner right here, and we'll be having more space. Now let's press Shift A, Mesh Plane. Rotate in X 90 degrees. Press Shift H to solo that one. Change the name. I'm gonna call this one Scene. This will be my main stage. I'm going to put it on the main area. Now, tap to go to edit mode. Control R. Create a cut here. Click enter. Now press 3 and select this face. X and faces to delete that one. Press 1 to go to vertex. Select these two that you have right here on the top area. Press Control Shift B to make a bevel around there. I'm gonna change a little bit some of these ones and we'll add like four segments. Now press 2 to go to edge mode. Select the edge right there. Press X, only edges and faces. And you will be having just this area like that. Tap to go to object mode. Go to object. Cumber curve from mesh. Now press Shift A, curve rectangle. Change it to 3D. Press SX to reduce that area. Then SY, little bit. Then select the scene. Go to Object Data Properties on the curve. Go to Bevel and select an object. In this case, the rectangle. 
and now you'll be having some like that. Tap to go to edit mode and make some adjustments. This will also depend on you. You could make it as wide as you want it, change the shape or anything like that. Once you're happy, select that one, go to object, convert to mesh. Now we can delete this rectangle. Tap to go to edit mode. Control R to make a cut in the middle. Press 1 on your number pad. Press Shift C, one on your keyboard, to change to vertex and select this vertices right there. Press X, vertices, to delete that one. Now press Shift C again, and we have something like that. Now we need to go to Modifier, Add Modifier, Mirror. Turn on Clipping, then go back to Add Modifier. Subdivision surface 2. Press Ctrl R in this area and make two cuts. Press SY and move it all the way close to the edge. Now in the inside area, Ctrl R, SY all the way to the edge. Now let's make some cuts here by pressing Ctrl R. I'm gonna do four. Press three to go to faces. I'm going to deselect the one in the middle by pressing Shift Alt click. Now I'm going to do E to extrude a little bit in inside, then E again and extrude one more time. Tap to go to object mode, right click, shade smooth. Now press Alt H to unhide everything. Now select that scene again, the stage area. Press G, Y, move it a little bit in Y. Like that. Tap to go to edit mode. Now let's go to pivot point, 3D cursor. Press S and um, move it up a little bit more. Tap to go back to object mode and we'll be having something like that. Just to cover the ones that we need. Go back to edit mode by pressing tap, press 3 to faces and select these areas. Right here, that one there, 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 and that one. Press F3 and type extrude and move on individual normals. And extrude up like that, not that much. Now go to the pivot point, median point. Press SX0 to have something like that. Go back to pivot point, select 3D cursor, press S seed and reduce these ones around there. Now press G X and move it all the way like that. This is just to cover the area, so we don't need much of a detail over there. We just need to put it to cover that area. Make some cuts with Ctrl R. One cut there. And that's it. That will be the main stage. Now go back to pivot point, change it to median point. Then press Shift A, circle to create a floor. I'm going to change the vertices to 15. The radius, I'm going to make it bigger. And also the fill type to end gun. I'm going to move it in Y by pressing G Y around there. We need to make it bigger, but it will be later on. Right now, it's okay like that. 
press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision. Right click on it, Shade Smooth. Now press Shift A, Plane. Rotate in X 90 degrees. Press Shift H to solo that one. Tap to go to Edit Mode. Press Ctrl R and change the cuts around 15. Ctrl R again, make a cut there in the middle. Press 1 to go to vertex, select those ones on the top. Press Shift S, cursor to selection. Go to pivot point, 3D cursor, and then select this side and that side. Now press S, C, and reduce the distance until you get something like that. Go to the pivot point again, change it to median point, and now select these edges by pressing Alt click and move it in Y by pressing G Y. Let's do this with all of them. And with this, we're going to create some drapes for the top area of this stage. So let's do all of them by pressing Alt click G Y to move it and then move it around there tap to go to object mode right click on it shade smooth now press ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier change it to 3 and leave it like that and we have something like this we are kind of faking the cloth using this. Now press Alt H to unhide everything. Change the name of this one to Drapes01. Move it to Object. Also, let me move this floor. Change the name of the circle to Floor. Move it to the main one. Select this new Drapes. And let's move these ones all the way to the top and in front by pressing GY, move it in front a little bit, then press GC to move it up, tap to go to edit mode, press A to select everything and then make some adjustments. You can make it smaller, you can make it thinner, or you can make it bigger if you want it. I'm gonna do it smaller by pressing S like that and move it up. G C. I like it like that. Probably a little bit on the top, a little bit more. Now with that drape selected, let's press Shift D to create a copy, then X and move it in X axis. Change the name to that new one. I'm gonna call it O2. Now let's move it in front of the first one. I'm gonna press Tab to go to Edit Mode and make it a little bit smaller. Now press S, make it smaller, not that much, around there. Now press R, Y, and a small rotation, like that, G, X, tap to go back to object mode, and now we need to press Alt, D, to duplicate that one. Now press N, go to X location, change it to minus, and Y rotation to minus to have the same one in the other side. Now change the name and this one is a duplicate link it to the other one. So some of the changes that you do in edit mode 
will be the same apply it to that one so you do need it to do that again and again now select the first drapes press shift h to solo that one tap to go to edit mode alt click to select the edge on the bottom then press e y and extrude a little bit around 0 0.003 like the first curtain that we made then press e y again and extrude around 0 0.004 once we have this press 3 on your keyboard hold down alt and click in this area to select the second one with that one selected we need to go to vertex group click on the plus icon assign and change the name I'm going to call it particles 2 tap to go back to object mode go to go to the modifier particle system go to the particle system and select the one that we already have and the curtains are 1 click that curtains are 1 then click on this number close to the name and this will be a new particle system so I'm going to change the name to drapes01 also change that name now let's go to vertex groups density and select particles you have something like this one I'm going to change the amount around 1500 or probably 1800 that might depend also on you you could put more or you could put less let's go to the add modifier solidify change the thickness to minus 0 0.002 and we now have something like that as I was telling you you could change the amount of the particles I'm gonna hide that one press alt H to unhide everything select the second drape and let's make the same thing shift H to solo that one tap to go to edit mode select the bottom edge by pressing alt click and extrude in Y by pressing E Y 0 0.003 and then again EY.004 now press 3 to go to faces alt click to select that area go to vertex groups click on the plus icon assign and then change the name go back to object mode by pressing tab go to the modifier particle system and select the drapes of one go to vertex group particles then go back to modifier add modifier solidify thickness to minus 0 0.002 we have something like that press alt h and let's do it one more time but because we already have this one linked to the other one we have the extrusion already done so we just need to select the area go to vertex groups click on the plus icon assign and change the name i'm going to call it particles tap to go back to object mode go to the modifier add modifier particle system then go to the particle system and select the drapes 01 go to vertex groups density particles and we are done with that one go back to modifier solidify change the thickness to minus 0 0.002 and we're done we're gonna leave the video right here and I will see you on the next part bye